Worry is a brother to anxiety. Wherever you see worry, anxiety always follows. Doubt would also be there, even fear would not be lacking. The good book tells us, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. That should tell you immediately that the opposite of worry is peace. And peace comes from a sound mind. You are at peace when you hand everything over to God. You're at peace when you put your trust in God. You're at peace when your faith is anchored in God and not in auxiliary support system. Peace is not the absence of trouble, but peace is knowing that no matter what comes, you have a God that can help you. You see, troubles may have sandwiched to you on all sides, but when you put everything in God's hand, it's only a matter of time you will overcome them. Are you carrying a weight that is more than you? Are you tired of surviving? Are you tired and weary of fighting? Are you tired of that frustrating situation? Are you tired of giving your best and getting far less than you deserve? Are you tired and weary of failing again and again? Are you tired of people disappointing you? Are you tired and weary of failed promises? Then it is high time you put everything in God's hand. Those you see enjoying peace are not void of troubles. In fact, they may probably have more battles going on in their lives than you think. All they have just done is to put their worries and troubles in the hand of God. You too can be at peace. You too can enjoy that peace if only you can hand it over to God. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God wants you to be at peace. God wants you to have a sound mind. God wants you to have a life that is void of worries and anxiety. God wants you to enjoy all-round rest. But that is to the degree that you put all your worries in his hands. Worry would drain you of your peace. Worry would drain you off your joy. Worry would suck the bubbleness out of you and leave you dry and hopeless. Worry will cage you and alter your progress. Worry will bring you into a state of consistent confusion. Any heart that is full of worries can never be productive. Just imagine all that worry and anxiety can do to you when you can just hand them over to God. Is it a fear of tomorrow that is troubling you? Well, I have good news for you. God knows tomorrow. He told us in his word, he said, Therefore, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, and yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like any of these. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? All oh, you of little faith, therefore do not worry, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day, it is its own trouble. End of discussion. Put your trust in God and you won't have any reason to worry again. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.